Hi everyone, this is Paris de Bono of the Fortune Teller Shop. And it seems like the coronavirus is the only topic of interest at the moment. Everyone's pretty much trying to figure out what to do about the coronavirus spread. So I thought to myself, what, how can I be of service to people using my skills as a fortune teller I thought, what would people want to know besides what my other videos have already said? And I thought people would probably want to know, how do we overcome this virus? And probably how are we going to get through this uh, situation with the virus spreading around the world? So let's ask the cards, how are we going to deal and cope with this with this virus and how do we overcome it whoops okay so when the cards jump like that it means they want to speak that's what i believe okay it also means that i'm probably not a good shuffler but often the cards will tend to feel like they're jumping so that's usually a good sign that it want they want to talk okay so how do we overcome this virus, if at all possible? So the birds. Birds is about communication. It's about talking with each other. Now the negative side of the birds could be stress, anxiety, worry. Um, also, if you notice the birds, there's in this particular deck, the birds, there's three of them and two of them look like they're fighting. So we have to be careful or be aware that we may fight with each other about false information. Okay, so this could be like the media or Twitter, people saying wrong things or arguing with each other and causing us to not uh, be focused. So the negative side of the bird could be, birds could be gossip, um, negative talks, positive could be communication. Okay, yeah, communication about death so there may be panic that will happen because stressed out birds and then about death could also say um, the end of communication or the end of fighting possibly so it looks like it's our communication is um, could be read two ways we're going to communicate about death or it could be the end of our communication this is kind of social media vibe as well man so there's a man, a powerful man, a man in charge. Let's see what he's doing. Key, he has the key, that's a good. The key usually is a good sign. Usually means we have some sort of breakthrough. Okay, so let's see, we need a good card now. The heart, okay, that's pretty good. The heart is about working together and working uh, in a way that we united the heart is about love and united so what it's saying is communication needs to be clear and not panicky there will be talks of death and it also shows we need to end the bad communication there's a man with a key powerful man with a key and it's someone that can unite unite everybody someone who speaks from the heart So now I'm going to look at the tarot and see if the tarot wants to give us any information. Uh, so far with the cards I just did with the um, the my grandmother's Lenormand, I, I didn't find that really that message very satisfying. A, a helpful man, a, a, a helpful man has the key to unite us. Okay, that's kind of what I was getting from that. But yeah, it wasn't extremely helpful. So let's see if the tarot can give us a little bit more of an edge or a bit more of a different point of view. Okay, the death card. Okay, so yeah. So we had the coffin in the previous reading. Now we have the death card. So there will be deaths. There has been deaths already. 
Okay, this is the Ace of Wands is usually something new, something fresh, new idea, new communication again, activity, correspondence, slow, slow moving, the Knight of uh, Pentacles. So it could be telling us we are going to be communicating a lot about deaths. Um, there's going to be lots of communication, possibly to keep ourselves grounded and slow about it. Okay. Yeah, information will go back and forward. And it's everything still up in the air. There's a lot of miscommunication as well, lots of fantasies, possibly conspiracy. Uh, theories, um, could be misinformation, false leads, imagination runs wild. So I think this is telling us to keep grounded, keep communication grounded. Yep. So now I'm going to try the Nonanina deck and see what these guys want to say about it. This is the blue version of the deck too. So I previously used the uh, blue sky tarot deck that I just used. Let's see what these ones want to add. Okay, Clover. Clover usually is a bit of luck. So there's some uh, positive vibe here. Feeling tight in a, in a, we're knotted, so it's like our luck is tied up or our luck is in a knot. If you were read it, it says the knot foretells business or personal difficulties. So it's almost like our luck is going to get stuck. But we still, you know, we still open. there's still something good there, even though it's with a negative. A woman now, I've got the princess, or the in this in this deck, the princess is the woman, or a woman, woman or women. Woman card always comes up in the readings. Again, the horseshoe. This is lucky or positive. Could be some sort of breakthrough. And we have people having talks, the card game, card games. So card game could, could mean a few things. It could mean people meeting and uh, kind of finding ways to deal with the coronavirus. It could also mean we have to pull together and limit ourselves. It's almost like go indoors. So um, our luck is tied up or, you know, what we, what we took for granted is now tied up. There's a woman involved as well who is who will open the way or bring opportunity. Horseshoe is a sign of never failing good luck where, wherever it falls. So there's some luck in there too. And then we've got people gambling and working things out. So I feel like we have to obviously pull together, work together as a team, and um, we're all in the same boat. So, what can we do to overcome the coronavirus? What do we need to know? So, I'm going to use the Geomancy dice. What do we need to know? What what can we do about it, if anything? Okay, so we've got one. What can we do about it, if anything? That didn't fall. either okay when they don't fall it means it's not gonna be easy basically okay so two so that's one 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 and last one Doesn't want to fall. Come on. I'm closing my eyes so I don't 
in any way. Doesn't want to fall this one. Okay, I'm going to make room for it. Okay, one, 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 one. All right, so they're all ones. Okay, here we go. So we've got here the card of Via. Via is path, street, highway, road, journey, direction, solitude. So what I think this is saying is to keep, it's sort of telling us we're on the path, we're on the way, solitude. Obviously that's about public, public distancing. Uh, ways and means, nomads. Nomads to me is a bit like, um, kind of being on your own. Dispersion, again, that's being away from others. News from afar, so making sure we're con uh, contacting other countries. River, route, leave, wander, a guide, language, sign of good trip, course of action, successful voyage, keep goal in sight and traveling. So it's really telling us what I'm getting with this is, um, for us to be obviously focused and having space from each other, solitude, um, communicate with each other, language, signs of a good trip, which is a good thing. Okay, so I'm, I'm just gonna have to pull another card because I'm just not feeling satisfied. I'm just gonna pull a random one. Who are physical activity, ability, leadership, initiative, ability to achieve, training, effort is rewarded, action, masculine, wiles, courage, charming, passionate, immature, combative, self-centered, fearlessness, rashness, inconsiderate. So in summary, if I put everything all together and sort of uh, concentrate the message that we got, the first deck said, there's going to be a lot of fighting on social media and lots of talking about death, but a man with a heart needs to unite us. The second deck said, there's going to be much talks about death in the media again. We need to keep calm and practical and avoid false information and avoiding reality. We have to be careful of avoiding reality, the second deck said. The third deck said, business and money and abundance will feel frustrated and tied up. The fourth deck said that travel starts up again and especially young people will not want to be restricted and perhaps will break rules or take risks with traveling because they don't want to be stuck at home or um, restricted in their social ways, even if there is still risk involved. That's kind of the summary that I got from the four cards. So again, we'll have to do a follow up in a few weeks and see how we go. Okay, this is Paris de Bono of the Fortune Teller Shop.